continuation under the sky in spring. So far we have seen about the constellations Gemini and Canis Minor. Today we are going to see about the constellations Leo and Cancer. I am your astronaut T. Sahana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. By the first week of March, we can see one of the most conspicuous constellation called Leo. We can easily locate this constellation by extending the pointers of Azza Major and Big Dipper. We can easily recognize this constellation by spotting the sickle shaped head of Leo. Sickle means that sickle shape of the sickle shell. The most prominent star in this constellation is Alpha Leonis or Regulus of magnitude 1.30. Regulus is quite close to us about 85 light years away and it is 160 times bright as our sun. Regulus culminates around 9 o'clock p.m. during third week of March. In Hindu mythology, we call Regulus as Maga and the Indian month Mag woves its name because the full moon is seen in vicinity of this star. The another bright star in this constellation is Jenibola. It marks the lion's tail and it is of a magnitude 1.6. The Indian month Uttra Panguni woves its name because the full moon is seen in vicinity of this star. The next bright star is Delta Leonis or Zosma, which is also one of the 27 nakshatras. From most part of India, Leo is seen overhead at culmination. Now, the next constellation is Cancer. The crab. Between the constellation of Leo and Gemini lies the zodiacal constellation called Cancer the crab. This constellation is the faintest of all zodiacal constellations and it is rather significant as it contains no star brighter than magnitude 4. The only interesting object in this constellation is a star cluster Precip or Beehive, one of the 27 nakshatras. On a dark moonless night, the beehive is visible to an unaided eye as a hazy patch. But if we use a pair of binoculars or a medium power telescope, we can see 30 separate stars in this cluster. India, the star Alpha Cancri of magnitude 4.3 is identified with Aslesa, one of the 27 nakshatras. Cancer culminates around 9 o'clock p.m. during third week of March. In this lockdown time, if you can see these constellations on your dark, clear, dust-free sky, please post that in your comments. Until then, stay tuned with me, yours, Astronaut T. Sahana. Thank you.